to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Miss Ashley and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year exam question. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started! Question 2 states that Mrs. Johnson created four identical containers using various materials labelled A, B, C and D. The initial temperature of the air inside each container was 28 degrees Celsius. So that means in each of these containers, the initial temperature is at 28 degrees Celsius. She subsequently placed the containers under direct sunlight for an hour. She also took down the final temperature of the air inside each container in the provided table. So I want you guys to now focus on the provided table below. So class, for all of these four containers, right, what happened to the final temperature of the air inside the containers after an hour? Did they increase or decrease? They increased, correct? Because the initial temperature was 28 degrees Celsius and all four final temperatures of the air are now higher than 28 degrees Celsius. I would like to ask the class, what is the reason why the temperature of the air after an hour increased? Do you think the air inside the container has gained heat or lost heat? They must have gained heat. But where did they gain heat from? They gained heat from the sun. Do you realize that the final temperature for all four containers are different? So if they are different, right, do you think the air inside these four containers have gained heat at the same rate? No, right? They must have gained heat at different rates. And what is the reason why? I want you guys to look at what the question has written, specifically the first sentence. The first sentence said that Mrs. Johnson created four identical containers using various materials labeled A, B, C and D. So when you hear of the word various materials, these four containers must have been made of different materials. So what is the property of material that we always talk about when we are on the topic of heat? It is heat conductivity. So that means, right, the four containers over here have different heat conductivities. I want you guys to help me identify which container is made up of the best conductor of heat. So when we are talking about best conductor of heat, do you think the air inside the container will gain heat the fastest or slowest? It will gain heat the fastest, correct? So if it gains heat the fastest, what does that tell you about the final temperature of the air after an hour? Will it be the highest temperature or lowest temperature? it will be the highest temperature. So which container over here is at the highest temperature after an hour? It will be container D. So over here, we can write down that it has the largest increase in temperature. So that tells you that container D is made up of the best conductor of heat. So with the best conductor of heat identified, the next thing that I would like the class to identify for me is which container is made of the poorest conductor of heat. When we are talking about poorest conductor of heat, do you think the air inside the container is going to gain heat the fastest or slowest? It will gain heat the slowest. Then what does it tell you about the final temperature of the air after an hour? Will it be the highest temperature or lowest temperature? It will be the lowest temperature. Which container is actually at the lowest temperature after an hour? It will be container B. So we can write down that it has the smallest increase in temperature. And that tells you that container B is made up of the poorest conductor of heat. Now we can then look at what the question is asking us for. The question is asking us which container should she choose to store cans of soda to ensure that they stay cold for the longest duration. So I want you guys to imagine. 
let's say you have just bought a few cold cans of soda and you want to bring these cans of soda to a picnic under the sun. Do you think these cans of sodas will stay cold forever? No, right? They will eventually get warmer. And what is the reason why? Did they gain heat or lose heat? They must have gained heat. But gain heat from where? Gain heat from the sun. So if we want these cans of sodas to stay cold for the longest duration, do you think they should gain heat the slowest or fastest? They should gain heat the slowest. So what kind of container should we choose to store these cans of soda such that they will gain heat the slowest? Should the container be made up of the poorest conductor of heat or the best conductor of heat? You will choose the poorest conductor of heat. Have we actually identified which container is made up of the poorest conductor of heat? Yes, right? And that will be container B. So for this question, which option should we choose? Option 2. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Found this video useful? Give us a thumbs up and check out more by clicking the links here. You can also subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Until next time, stay curious inside and limitless outside. Bye!